2020 is one of them lessons that we'll never forget as it taught us how to improvise, how to do a lot of DIY projects. And with this one, I wanted to show and share with you this DIY product that I did that helped my spiritual consciousness to come forth and for me to manifest a lot of impossible things that we thought were impossible. But by using the combination of ginger and a spiritual work, it came through with ease. If you want to see how I created that, just keep on watching. So there's two sides that I wanted to show you. The physical benefits of using ginger and also the spiritual benefits of using ginger. And I wanted to just go through them that we can have a clear understanding of what they are and how to use them. Now that we've chopped the ginger up to the size that we need, we've also juiced our ginger, not blend. We need to juice this, this one. We're going to be left with this. And this is how you're going to make your incense. We need the trash that's inside of the juicer because it's molded and just the way you want it. All right. So this is how you're going to create your incense. You need this type of trash looking, not the blended one. So there's two ways you could do it. You could do this um, if you're going to dry this naturally outside. You can do it on a plate like what I'm doing now. So I'm just arranging the ginger um, trash. And I'm just, you know, making sure that I mold it in the shape that I want to. Then I'm going to add my ginger juice to this. And keep on molding it until I get the perfect shape on size and the size that I would like to have for my incense. This can be dried outside naturally. So this is one way you could do it, where you could just dry this naturally outside and let the elements do all the dehydration. Or I could show you another method that I've used, quicker method, if you're on like a um, quicker time frame, that you could do and then you could get the same results, all right? So this one I dry outside and now this method I'm going to show you how to use a dehydrator to actually dry your ginger um, incense quicker. So what you would need to do, you would need to mold this not on the, um, ex the um, dehydrator as I'm doing here, mistake one. You will get it on a flat surface and then you will put the ginger paste as I'm doing here on the grease proof paper or wax paper. Then you get another piece of paper, wax paper, and put on top of it. You could either use a rolling pin to roll out the desired shape and size, or you could just use your hand to flatten it across gently without tearing the paper. When you're done getting to the ideal shape and size you want, you're just gonna peel back the paper, and then you're gonna put the um, ginger into the extractor. And then you'll start the process of making your incense. When you do this, you need to add a little bit more juice to the ginger um, trash because you want all the properties of the ginger to still be the same as if it was just, you know, plucked out of the ground. Now I'm going to set it and I'm going to put a time on. I'm going to put two hours for this um, extraction, dehydration. Then I'm gonna put the temperature up to around 70 because I want it to work quicker and faster. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna dehydrate it faster. So it's gonna take two hours to dehydrate and then I can show you how you can go ahead and use this DIY incense made from organic ginger. All right, now I use the juice for my XLR and I drink it and I feel great. Now, this is how the ginger is going to look after you've dehydrated it. And now it's ready for your ritual. It's ready for prayer. It's ready for smudging. It's ready to cleanse your entire space. All right?
and this is how it's going to look when you've done it naturally all right so when you've dried the ginger naturally outside with the elements this is exactly how it's going to look how to use okay so i'm going to demonstrate how i use this for my manifestations and how you can use it you can use it any way you want to use it as long as you're using it with a bit of prior and a bit of scriptures all right so no worry how you use it this is my preference i hold it with a bit of tweezer and this is a tweezer i use for all of my little um incenses i hold them with it so i don't get myself injured so i hold my ginger incense and then i will light my in my ginger you can use a lighter or you can use a candle i don't suggest using matches because of the sulfur smell i'm not too keen on the sulfur smell when it comes on to spiritual work but you can you can do whatever you want to do to light your incense and as you see it lights fairly quickly you don't need to let it stay over there and burn because it's such a light um ingredient used after you know juicing and dehydration it's it's light so it's gonna catch really quickly yeah so you can tell i just used it a little bit over the candle and it's ignite already so you use this to smudge your house smudge yourself smudge your your altar smudge your dogs your pets your kids anybody you use this to cleanse the whole entire atmosphere i burned this a couple of days ago and i burned it this morning and my daughter walked downstairs and she was like mm, it just feels so light and it smells so clean what were you doing mom i was like uh-huh <laughs> manifesting my dream job darling <laughs> so i've used this to manifest my dream job and i also use this to manifest money to manifest health to manifest good people in your life to manifest special favors you know with lots of love i use this to manifest anything that i desire and you can use it to manifest anything you desire i even heal my whole entire body and my household so this is not something to take lightly it's a very powerful tool that ja has given to us and i'm going to show you how i've been using it in my home to manifest pure good the next video i'm about to do is going to show you what psalms and scriptures and prayers you shall use to manifest this right so the biggest manifestation of using ginger was my dream job this is just out of the world i was just like this is great manifestations and if you feel it and you believe it and you dream it and you breathe it then it's yours it will come true so these are just some of the tools that i use to enhance my manifestations some of these things you don't need but to help you along the spiritual journey on this physical plane you will need it and this is how i use it to smudge my daughter she was having problems with her throat and i use it to smudge her throat chakra and also to smudge the entire chakras in our body and it did help a lot she felt so much better within hours so that's the way you could use it or you could use it this way you could use it as a smudge or a burner for the house you can use charcoal if you want but with this incense you don't have to because it ignites so quickly you don't need to do all of the burning with the charcoal you can just use this and it keeps burning for a while so the more you put in the more it will burn to me i compare this like sardos you know how sardos easy to catch or you know ignite well this is the same texture so i didn't go out and buy a lot of incense but we did buy a lot of ginger all right so this is a cheap effective spiritual holistic organic way that you could use ginger to help cleanse the area of your home and to get rid of all the negative entity that attach themselves to us while we go out and come in all right so this is just to cleanse and keep your space highly positive and highly you know vibing all right now this is the first method i had used this way i just dried the ginger out and i use it as a burner and this is so effective because this took me around six months to manifest 
my dream job and this is what i had used to manifest my dream dream job i can't even go into details with you because i've signed a disclosure that's how big it is and this has helped me so much so i'd advise you get a few ginger but buy them or dig them apart out of your ground and just dehydrate them over a period of time i think it took around three months to actually dehydrate this naturally and um, it burns really well and it's a telephone call away to your prayers to your dreams to your desires you will manifest really quickly using this method all right if you find this video informative and you have benefited from what i have shown you and um you want to take it a bit further and try it for yourself please don't hesitate just leave me a comment down below and let me know and also subscribe to my channel it would be nice if you came over and joined the family we would love to have new members yes we're all about love and sharing remember each one teach one so come on over let's express our you know individuality and you know connect to our spiritual consciousness that's out there for us so we can manifest and you know visualize our destiny thank you for joining and i'll catch you guys really soon i also have the turmeric one as well which i do my spiritual work with my turmeric and this is a wonderful one because this has healing properties original healing properties it helps with anti-inflammatory illnesses pain whatever it may be and i can tell you just using this as an incense help to clear my nasal passages to unblock the inflammation in my body and spiritually cleanse my aura this is a beautiful incense to use and i'll advise you to dry some turmeric and use them yourself